Welcome! In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus and today I'll show you how you can record your screen on this phone. So to get started, let's pull down our notification panel, expand it, and look for the toggle, which for me is right over here. Now once you find it, you can either tap on it to start recording or I believe we can also hold it, which will take us to the settings. And in the settings we can customize how we will be recording, so the quality and a couple additional things. So let's start off with the sound. You can choose either to have no sound, media sound, or media and mic. Now if you're planning to use the last one, media and mic, I do highly recommend using headphones for that, just so you don't create an unwanted echo effect throughout the recording. Video quality is set to the highest. I do recommend keeping it at 1080p. This will give you the highest resolution uh, and fidelity of the video, so it's a, f it's a good setting. Then below that we have our selfie. Uh, this will define how big the selfie uh, camera will show up on the recording. This little uh, circle right here is the actual size that it will be uh, visible once you actually enable this feature. Now it's not enabled I think by default, so if you want to use your selfie, you can then uh, toggle it on throughout the recording. But obviously you can change the size of it. So you can make it super small or super big. And like I said, this is the real size of it. Now, scrolling down further, we have show tops and touches, which will just show on the recording where you are touching the screen. Now, when recording screen, uh, it's probably not something that you want to enable if you're planning to record games, uh, but it might be something you definitely want to enable if uh, you're recording some kind of a guide. Uh, so uh, navigating through menus and stuff like that will make it a little bit easier for someone to see where uh, you were actually, what you were selecting. Anyway, once you went to the limited uh, settings right here, you can close this and go back to the toggle, tap on the recording. It will give you again the couple options right here, so for, for the touches and also the sound, so choose whichever one you want if you, uh, if you want to change it and select start recording. This will give us a countdown which we can skip and as you can see, it's now going to be recording our uh, screen. And here we have the couple options. So we have this, uh, the camera. We can also draw. We can pause the video. Resume it. And also obviously stop it. Now once you stop your recording, it will be automatically saved to your gallery application and you can and you can find it either in pictures, so it will show up as a newest uh, pop-up right here, or if you navigate to albums, you should also have a new album called Screen Recordings. And in here, obviously, you will have your screen recording. And it's, yep, it's already playing, so I'm just gonna let it run through. So, there we go. That's the recording. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.